were wiped out in most of northwestern Europe a century ago. Now that there are protected species, there are thought to be between 15 and 20 lone wolves roaming around Switzerland. A quarter of a million sheep graze in alpine pastures each summer, and they're easy targets for the predators. I think it's a natural part of biodiversity, and uh, there is a, like a, a natural right to exist. But uh, as in Switzerland, we have a very uh, a cultural landscape. We have to find solutions with the people who is living there. And so uh, it has to be an, a compromise between the, the right of existence of wolves and the right of uh, existence of farmers here. The government compensates farmers for each sheep killed, but the loss is still hard to swallow. All these farmers, especially here in the Valais, they are small farmers, they have uh, small flocks and they have a very close relationship to sheep. And so uh, when they lose some of their animals, it's an, an emotional loss. 75% of Swiss are said to favour wolf protection, but many of the people really affected, the sheep and goat breeders, would rather see them shot. They made their views clear in a protest outside Parliament in November 2009. They would like a reduction in the number of sheep a wolf is allowed to kill before being sentenced to death itself. So what can be done to ensure the peaceful coexistence of sheep and wolves? The WWF says it's crucial to improve stock protection. The agriculture is not uh, well prepared until now for, for wolves because half of sheep is free grazing. And so it is uh, just a, a nice prey for wolves. They can take them without any danger. One way of protecting sheep is to use guard dogs. Agridia is a government-sponsored organization that provides emergency backup when flocks are at risk. They take fiercely protective Merema sheepdogs to areas where wolves have been sighted and the dogs stay with the sheep for the summer. We go there with two or three dogs and integrate them to the sheep so that they are used to the sheep and the sheep get used to them because many of these sheep, they've never really seen a protection dog. Walter Hildbrand has been breeding Marema sheepdogs for 11 years. They're born in a barn surrounded by sheep and are programmed to stay with the flock. Walter has to keep 10 to 12 dogs on standby all the time for the mobile herd protection team. Last year there was much less damage in places where we were sent with wolves in the area. Walter Hildbrand says there's reluctance among some valleys on farmers to adopt new herding methods. Some farmers have adapted. They've always protected their flocks and have their own dogs. The others will do the same, sooner or later. But in the early stages, it's always a bit chaotic and acceptance is rather limited. The the WWF is also training volunteers to help the shepherds protect their flocks in the most vulnerable areas. The trainees have to hike up a mountain to take part in the course in Valais. In summer, each volunteer will spend two weeks with a shepherd and his guard dogs, helping to build fences and round up herds in the evenings so that they're penned in and protected from wolves. The trainees explained why they signed up. If I'm very, really honest, I'm not here to save any sheep. I'm here to save a wolf from being killed by the shepherd. I'd like to be able to form a neutral opinion about the real situation. What problems do those who live in the mountains with their flocks experience? How do they deal with the wolf and the lynx? It's just a matter of time before the first wolf pack is formed, presenting an even greater threat to sheep flocks. But a stable wolf population is also easy to keep track of. Protection can be focused where the danger is greatest. Once the first pups emerge, the wolf could once again become a permanent resident of the Swiss Alps.